Hi ladies, I'm back. Okay, somebody had a question for me on, um, I'll try not to hit the camera here. Someone had a question for me on how to get um, certain parts of the paper piecing since um, on the pattern, like her head here, let me point this here, her head here is covered by the top of, by the bottom of her hat. Um, one of the ladies wanted to know, her name is Sarah. She wanted to know how to get the, oh, sorry, I am just not with it today. She wanted to know how to attach the head to the hat if I trace right along this line here because it would be so close together. She said, well, it doesn't look like I'd be able to attach the hat to the head because there's just one line. How are you going to do that? So, as you can see, can you see that there? This is the back of my paper piecing. You can see I've got layers and layers, different layers. Here's her legs. Here's her hands there. Here's her head and then her hair. So this tutorial is going to show you how to transfer the pattern with bigger pieces for some parts of the pattern. So again, I have two pencils my eraser. I have tan cardstock because that's going to be the color that she is. With pencil number one, I'm going to scribble the back and I'm just going to give it a good scribble here real quick for you. Okay, um, I can see through the paper as I told you before, I can see the lines of the pattern through the paper. So I'm going over those lines. I'm, I'm making sure to go outside of those lines so that when I transfer it over, it goes, every part of the line goes through. Let me turn this and give it another scribble this way real quick. And as you can see, I give really good scribbles because um, I'm going to be using this pattern more than once. And I can do an outline of it more than once. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that my paper is lined up. I'm going to hold this up to the light. Um, you cannot see that on camera view, but I'm holding it up to the light. Okay, so my paper, that my tan paper uh, for her skin color is down towards the bottom of her head right here. Okay, and it's a little bit bigger. The paper is a tiny bit bigger than her head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the far side of her head and I'm going to trace the line of her head all the way around. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay, I'm tracing her head all the way around from one side of the bottom of her hat to the other side. Okay, and that's where I'm going to stop for one second and then I'm going to move my fingers up on the pattern a little bit higher and then I'm going to continue my line over her hat. Don't worry about writing on here. It, it doesn't matter because you're going to be coloring other parts. And I'm just going to draw the top part of a circle to come over her hat. And then that's going to transfer the top part as well onto the paper. So here it's not a very good oval circle, but this is what transferred onto the paper. So when you cut this piece out and then you cut the bottom part of her hat out, okay, you're going to cut this bottom part of her hat, the rim of her hat, you're going to cut it out and then that's what's going to attach to the top part of her head. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to email me. I can give a very much more in-depth tutorial if you need it. For her legs, you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the paper over here. Oh. Let's scribble this real quick. Okay. 
I'm going to do the same thing for her legs. And I got a little bit of lead on okay so for her legs I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put them on there on the tan paper I'm going to trace okay trace where the circle where the um I'm sorry the rounded part of her legs are for where her boots go and then the outside of her legs and then I do a little bit of the a little bit lighter on the inside part of where her leg is going to be that's where the brown marker is going to come in you're just going to use it as I did here on her legs right there and you're just going to draw a line so that it gives the illusion of her legs okay so instead of stopping right here where her dress is you're going to continue to draw a line upward and just draw like a top part of a square because that is going to attach to the back of her dress when you put the paper piecing together and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do a bottom part of a square because that's going to attach to the back side of her boots so as you can see that is her legs and it looks kind of messy but it all comes together as you can see very neatly on my paper piecing and as you can see it looks like a butt <laughs> um, you can see that's her legs there it attached to the back of the boots and the bottom of her dress so if you have any questions about doing anything else in this paper piecing please feel free to contact me I I don't mind being you know helpful and it's not a bother to me in any way any questions at all I am free to answer so that is the rest of this tutorial uh, again you can find a copy of this pattern and a copy of the completed paper piecing in photo album number one in the group um, or you can email me for it uh, if you're not a group member and you happen to see this video okay I will see you next time